What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Romster here, back with some more Dragon Ball Super Talk, episode 64. We just watched it. It's incredible. Before we start talking about the episode, I do want to drop the, the disclaimer. We can officially tell you where to watch the show. Where can they watch it? Crunchyroll! Also, to those who are in Europe, you can go to Daisuke.net and AnimeLabs.com, uh, which I don't think Anime Labs works in Europe, but I do know Europe can watch in Daisuke.net. All three links to the show will be down below uh, every single Saturday night at 9.30 Pacific Standard, oh, Eastern Standard Time. 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, a new episode goes live literally one hour after it airs in Japan, or when it ends in Japan, and you can watch it in HD, it's free and subbed, and of course, if you watch it uh, with the premium service, you can uh, watch it uh, without ads. So support the series officially. We mentioned this last week, mention it again. So, 64, where do we start? Uh, there's one thing I'm gonna get into first. The one thing I did not like about this episode, was the dog is popping out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of confused. I didn't even know he was back there. That's so weird. There's one thing uh, that I want to criticize in this episode, and that's is that they built up the fight last week with Vegeta. Vegeta comes back, he's like, no, there's one thing you'll never uh, you'll never get right, and that's you don't have the same blood inside you. It's not the line at all. In fact, it completely probably that was butchered. Very dramatic. I, I butchered it, but whatever, it's not the point. I can't wait to see Chris Sabat do that, by the way. <laughs> uh, he was basically like, no, this is you you might have Kakarot's uh, body, which you'll never have a Saiyan cells, which you need. And like they hyped it up as if like this beginner's episode is going to be epic with him beating him down, which it kind of was, but not really. Uh, for, for, for a couple seconds, but like the thing that I really wanted to see is him get that actual revenge because the last couple times uh, Black fought Vegeta was very one-sided. I'm still kind of hurting. I'm still kind of hurting the first time they fought and he just stabbed him in his chest and that's it. It was just game over. Just uh, Vegeta needs something. Anyway, so last week, you know, we end the episode off on Vegeta basically going crazy. He had just trained on Spirit of Time, he just, the room of Spirit of Time. He destroyed it because it's Vegeta. And he shows up in the future, he starts beating down black, and then the episode ends. And it's like, oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? It doesn't really happen. Uh, the fight was still epic, don't get me wrong. It was yeah, epic. It was. Did, you, did you like it? I did, I loved it. But then it stops. Because uh, what happens is, is Black's like, oh, your source of power is your anger. That's how you got so, pa so strong. And then he did this weird thing where he basically stabbed himself and he kept digging deeper with his blade. It was very weird. And then he pulled out a scythe, like... Nani? Like... <laughs> Nani? Like, literally just pulled out a scythe. And then that's is when it gets even weirder. He slices, he opens like a rift or something, and then he's like, what is that? I don't know. Like, he's I... like, even I don't know. So, I was kind of confused. Now, my theory was, uh, because he used the time ring and the blade, he basically ripped open a, a hole in time, but you think it was something else, right? Um, no, I did not say that I thought it was something else. What I meant was is that he, when he was explaining what it was, uh -huh. he was just speculating himself. He's, right, right, He right, does right. not even know himself what this is, and he was speculating, oh, maybe it's a portal to the past or the future, or maybe this is just my oh, anger, no. <laughs> you know? Like, he said it could yeah. have been just his anger. And this is where it gets weird, because what I thought Black was going to do is basically kick Vegeta into the rift and then close it, and it's like, that's it, game over. Instead, he spawns a bunch of uh, blacks around him, a yeah, bunch of Goku weird. blacks, and Shadow yeah, it literally. <laughs> me and Danny, Danny was watching live with us uh, on Discord, and he was like, "Oh, look at that! Just turned to Naruto. Basically, he uses chakra to pull out a blade, and then he created a bunch of Shadow Clone Jutsus that didn't really make any sense." So that I can't yeah, explain. Yeah, kind of seemed pointless. Yeah, and then meanwhile, you have Goku fighting Zamasu, and then all of a sudden, somehow Zamasu is not chasing after Trunks and Bulma. That part was confusing because literally it was like Goku versus Zamasu, Black versus Vegeta. I was expecting like an epic fight between the two and two, but instead, the second the Shadow Clone Jutsu happens, Zamasu is heading to towards Bulma, which apparently took forever to fly across that like you know gap that they were far apart because apparently Bulma had enough time to teach um, Trunks and Mafuba. What, what she recorded with her phone. She's always smart. She literally is Dragon Ball. She is. She is Dragon Ball. Anyway, so she recorded uh, Piccolo doing the Mafuba, which is hilarious, by the way. And was like, hey, Piccolo, I mean, not Piccolo, uh, Trunks, you have five minutes to learn this. In the meanwhile, she's gonna go distract Zamasu, which this is what I don't get. Zamasu is evil, and knowing him, he would not have even given her a chance to talk. He should just, like, well, I wouldn't want him to do this. But knowing Zamasu's traits, he should have just stabbed her in the chest and be like, yeah, this is this is it. And like held her by her neck, which, you, you know, just like how we saw in the beginning of the series when Black killed future Bulma. But instead, uh, you know, Trunks walks out, Bulma is in Zamasu's hands, and then he just, he just drops her and it's like, he didn't kill her, why? And then next thing you know, you got Zamasu who's super cocky because he's immortal, and then you got the Mafuba action, which is incredible. Absolutely amazing. Until... Wait, 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 can, can, can we back it up to... 
Zamasu's motivation for even going to the site where Bulma and Trunks and Mai was. Yeah. His motivation was to get Goku and Vegeta angry. Yeah. Right? Yep. So maybe he thought, oh, I'll just like torture her a little bit or something. That's actually a really good point. Yeah. Really, really good point. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because I mean, why? Did, what possessed him to just all of a sudden yeah, stop fighting and go towards Bulma and Trunks? It's because he wants to get them angry so that they actually bring out their more uh, more of their power. That's actually a really, really good point. I'm glad you brought that up. This, yeah. is, this is why I bring yeah, it to Yeah, I had to back <laughs> it up a little bit before you got started getting the Mufuba. Yeah. But now, now we can move on. Speaking of the Mufuba, Trunks apparently learns it in five minutes, uh, which is not that much. It's Mufuba! You just gotta, you know, catch him and basically play basketball into whatever you seal the person in. Uh, the thing is, is Mufuba should technically kill you after using it. Tien, in, in, in the past, when he learned how to use a Mafuba, he trained himself to not die. Uh, everybody else, they kind of trained themselves to not die after the Mafuba. And, uh, and Goku probably at this point should know how to use it without dying. But this is Trunks' first time. Now, I will point out that after Trunks did a Mafuba, he was exhausted. So maybe because he's so powerful and strong, you can kind of say, well, maybe that's why he didn't die or get knocked out or even go unconscious. But I want to point that out. Two, he succeeds. And I love seeing that success. And it's like, because like, Zamasu's like, oh my gosh, like... This is me. Like I'm about to, that, that's game over. It's over. Like I'm I'm trapped. And then and then we had the comedy moment because. <laughs> Go ahead. Just tell what happened. Yeah, they forgot the seal. Goku's in, in, in the past. Goku's a moron. Look, let me tell you something. Dragon Ball Super has done a great job portraying Goku to be a moron, way better than Dragon Ball Z has ever done. I mean, in Dragon Ball he was an idiot. In Dragon Ball Z he was an idiot. But in Dragon Ball Super he's like a buffoon, literally. <laughs> as much of a chance he gets, he has been turned into a bigger buffoon than before. And honestly, I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about that because, like, I know he's an idiot, but I feel like Dragon Ball Super at times overdoes it. It's like, yeah. dude, how, how could you forget that? You literally went back into the past after almost getting killed to learn him a Fuba. You get the jar and you, you forget the talisman? They, they could have won! They literally yeah. could have won! I mean, obviously, you know, it wasn't supposed to end that way, as I said. Like, there's no way that Mufuba is going to be the solution to beating Zamasu. Right. It's just, it's too easy. It's too easy, you know? Right. Uh, and on top of that, it leaves uh, it open for later him basically getting restored somehow. I mean, all it takes yeah. is one bad guy, maybe a Zamasu clone that he created, so, not clone, but Zamasu he contacted at some point in some other timelines. Like, yo, if this ever happens, c come get me, man. Like, Zamasu has to be destroyed. Yeah. With that said, he pops out, uh, and the second he pops out... He's Black very weak. It was very weak. Well, obviously, I assume because the Mafuba probably also drains the attack person as well, but I can't quite confirm because I don't remember. Like, Dragon Ball was so long ago. Uh, but he pops out. Black realizes, oh, snap, I got to go over there. Instant transmissions. And when he leaves, the, the rift closes, apparently, because, again, it's somehow linked to Black. And, you know, Goku and Vegeta are now able to instant transmission over there. They go over there. And this is when the wonderful, amazing moment happens. Apparently, this triggered Zamasu to the point where it's like, you know what, we can't play with these people anymore, we just have to get rid of them now. Even though technically if they wanted to, they could have just like, first of all, uh, Bulma, Mai, and Spaceship could have just been, well, not Spaceship, Time Machine, could have just been destroyed <laughs> by a quick key blast. Like, he could have just done that, turn around, and gone after Goku and Vegeta. But for some reason, Zamasu was so triggered where he was like, you know what, let's get the trunk card out. Pulled off his earring, switched ears, <laughs> fusion happened. It's time. <laughs> now. It's very week. intimate, by the way. Yeah. Now we have uh, many questions, obviously, and we're probably going to get zero answers just because that's just how Dragon Ball Super does it sometimes. Question number one is, is Zamasu... The, what should we call him? Uh, Let's just call him Zamasu. I mean, it is literally just Zamasu. Yeah, because so. everybody has, like, you know, fusion name. In fact, if you want to just have fun with this in the comment section below, give me your best Zamasu Goku Black fusion name. Zamask, Zamaku, I don't know. Give me your best fusion names. Uh, it's just Zamasu because, I mean... If well, you it is Zamasu because he did say, I am the ultimate god. Zamasu. Yeah, I mean, it's just him. It's it's a, you, If you fuse with yourself, I mean, you're still yourself. When you like your own tweet, I just stole, <laughs> I just stole Omega Pro's tweet and put him on video. Yeah, Hashtag really Omega Pro. Actually, I want you guys to go to Omega's channel and say uh, sure Ryan stole, yeah, stole your tweet. Uh, anyways, uh, so they fuse, and the questions I have is, is number one: Are they immortal now? Because I assume you should, technically should be because one was immortal. Yeah. Two, uh, like, can they split? Like, I mean, I know if you you can't split a Potara fusion. Unless you use a Dragon Ball, which is what Kabito and Supreme Kai did, but do they have a special technique to split themselves? Because, like, this is one of those, like, desperation moves where it's like, you know what, I have to do this. Uh, three, what exactly are they doing next episode? Because from the next episode previews, the light that they created, like, around them, which we saw in the preview, apparently can destroy anything it touches. So, I mean, I know they're powerful now because fusion is a very, very powerful thing, but, like, 
that seems a little bit too powerful. And finally, what's going to happen between Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks? Because, like, if they're in attack mode right now, because I mean, I mean, we don't know where it's going. This is going to fusion. Goku and Vegeta are probably got to fuse, or maybe we'll get Vegeta and Trunks, or all three. Someone's going yeah, to fuse. Yeah, like all three. That's what I was just thinking. Like, I wonder. Yeah, well, all three won't happen, but it's funny because Dragon Ball Fusions just came out. Uh, well, it didn't just come out. It came out a couple months ago, and it's been announced in uh, worldwide release in December, except for it's coming out in Europe in February for some reason. And in that, sh in that game, they have the EX fusion, the Maxi fusion, which is basically a multiple fusion by multiple people. It'd be funny if they did that, but I'd rather not see that. So yeah. Either, uh, it's, it's just kind of weird. I mean, we know that uh, Dragon Ball Heroes announced uh, Vegeta Trunks fusing, but honestly, I don't think we're going to get that. I think we're going to go with uh, nice and easy Vegito, uh, because Gawasu's obviously, obviously there, so Supreme Kai, so all it takes is one of them to be like, hey, yo, you don't catch his earrings. Don't pull a Gohan from Dragon, Ball, from Dragon Ball Z. Remember when Goku threw him the earring and he couldn't catch it? Yeah. Like, hey, yo, catch this. Great. I put it on. Now, the question is, is, is two questions really between that. If Vegito fuses, well, Vegito, uh, Vegito and Goku fuse, what will the outfit look like? Because honestly, I know I've se we've seen an outfit in Z, but I don't want to see that. I want to see something different. Although they are wearing technically the same like uh, armor or same outfit. It's not like the Goku uh, and Vegeta Whis Resurrection F outfits. But uh, because now you have Vegeta fusing with armor, like will it be incorporated in the outfit? Or, and two, how exactly will Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan work in the Vegito state? So. Hopefully we get that answered next week, but I feel like it's coming very, very soon, whether it be next week or the week after that, but I'm excited for that. And also we get to the point where the arc is going to be closing very soon. I do know that uh, in December, Toriyama announced that they're going to announce, the oh, Toy announced actually, that they're going to announce the next major arc, which means whenever this arc ends in the next couple weeks or so, we're probably going to get like an in-between arc first, probably like middle of November to, you know, until middle of December, and then we'll get like a major arc after that, whether it's going to be the actual tournament that was announced after Universe 6 or something else. I think it's going to be something else. But ultimately, what do you guys think about this episode number one? And two, what do you think is going to happen next week? Drop it down below. Anything else? I think that's it. I think it's the first time where we Ooh. actually addressed everything that happened in the episode. Wow. But it's a lot easier to do when you like literally watch it like, you know, two seconds after it airs, you know, with subs and everything. So that's kind of kind of cool. So yeah. Next week is going to be amazing, so I'm excited for that. If you're enjoying uh, the series so far, love these reviews, make sure you leave a like below. Any questions, feedback, uh, theories, thoughts, speculations, you know what to do down there. Uh, anything else? Nope. Nope. Okay, well, we'll see you guys next week. And also, we'll see you down below. Enjoy the rest of your night, day, whatever time or day is for you. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.